So we're back. This is the beginning. This is a conclusion to the end. I'm playing as Russia. I defeated Lithuania and Ukraine. I will post that video below. You do not have to see it to see this one, but I recommend watching it. But now I'm going to invade Romania. If Romania was allied with the two I conquered and he didn't help them. So this whole time I've been building up my forces, watching them, and now I'm ready to attack and it will be good. So I have my main group. Also, I didn't industrialize properly because I was trapped for so long having three versus one. And then when I took all their land, it really slowed me down. So I have one artillery. Well, I have a second one coming. Maybe. It doesn't matter. But I have a lot of infantry, a lot of cavalry. And that, that sounds appropriate for World War One Russia. So I'm not too upset. But everyone's moving to Kursan. I have, and I'm going to call this large group, the 11th Army, Army Group A. B, the 13th Army. And C, the 41st army they have forts along here the border's too big for me to garrison them all i think now that everyone's massed here i could have but he's not doing well romania while i was defeating ukraine and lithuania invaded italy and then he just started to invade turkey so it's like okay he's not going to help them but yeah so starting from c C, well, C and B are both going to be doing the same thing. They're going to both come down, scoop up some territory, because all their defenders are spread out. So a large group, I can do this, I can do that, go back up here, go back up here. And army group C will do the same thing. They'll group here. They will attack there there and then they'll group back up and this is mainly to distract and and like raid their territory because i want all their resource provinces i want them to retake the province and it end up being they receive 2400 resources if they can get below that then they're just bleeding money there's no point of holding the province but a a is the big one so let's see, A, I want 70, I want, so what, 8, 16, 24, I'll take 9. Yeah, that'll be good. So you'll go down here. I'm splitting A into three groups, A1, A2, A3. And they're going to go down the coast. And A1's goal is to take Constantinople, and if their army in Turkey on the other side of the river comes to save them, I'll be there to attack them on the boats. A2 is going down the middle, and yep, they're going for the capital, which their capital is not defended. That's why I'm like, what is he doing? How did he get so big? It worries me. Hmm, okay, this would be an A3 and A4. Okay, so A3 goes down here. Tax, tax. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go here. And the final group. A4. So A4 is going to go the same route. But kind of cut in through here. 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 That'll be good. So they will slowly just go all the way down to the Mediterranean Sea. And this is their core. So if I take this, you know, Italy's not going to give them much. And neither is Turkey. Since they just recently conquered it. But yeah, I mean, I've spent days. This is day 13 in the game. Yeah, and I think this will be going great. I, I'm i really confused on why he did so well 
And I'm about to find out because he could totally kick my butt. In Spain, when Romania took Italy, Spain also took the Italian islands. That sounds like collusion to me. But I don't know. My spies didn't say anything. I have spies in the Spanish capital and the Romania capital. And they did not tell me anything. But that's my plan. I think this will go well. After Romania, I'll just smack Spain. But yeah, this is a lot of men. And holding back the artillery. They don't have real defenses, so I wouldn't know which direction to go. Today is a great day. I've taken Romania's capital. As you can see, it's not seeable. Here at Bucharest. Oh, they're building an airport. We don't need to do that. We can cancel that. I got so much money from taking their capital. That's an obscene amount of money. That's a record right there. But what happened is I had the battle plans. You saw the battle plans. And I had to pivot because I have a job where I work in a laboratory and it requires me not to be at the game. But I, I stopped at lunchtime to observe what was going on and I had to move my battle plans. And you have to believe me when I say this. I moved in. Romania moved to counter me as we were moving. I didn't even get in contact with the first province fight. And Romania was already moving around to defend their border. Haphazardly, you could see here, you didn't even make it, bro. Didn't even make it to the province I took. See, I took that province. And I had to move around. I was attacking here in Vienna with Army Group C, but I had to divot because this was the only successful one where I was like, they're going to win because they have a fort. They successfully amassed troops in Vienna to stop me. So I went back around following the mouse and now I have a new battle plan coming back around here. It's going well. Army Group B, I had to stop them here because they amassed so many troops to attack me in Army Group B after I took the first province that I was just killing them. It was a kind of a bloodbath. Let me look at the news. So they lost 73,000. I lost 16,000. That's decent numbers, especially for this late game. We're on day 14. And Army Group A, which was split into four different armies. Oh, man, it was such a bloodbath. I've just been knocking them out. And if you saw my last episode, why Ukrainians are Swedish, you could see texts from them or messages from them here. But I was like, good game. Are you Swedish? Because I think he's Swedish. And this has gone way too easy. I wanted more of a fight. He still conquered here. Look, this is 5%. He just took over these territories. What are you doing? Why are you attacking them? It makes me want to actually put a blimp over the caucuses because I'm so such a paranoid person that I think he has access to sneak in. But I really hope Spain gives me a good fight. I need an artillery piece here. Oh, 22 hours is so long. And we'll get back around. We'll get back around to here. They'll rendezvous here together. And they'll mass, and we'll just bombard this because I don't need to waste any infantry. I have so many men. So many. How many men do I have? 465. My army grew since invading Romania. That's how lackluster this fight is. And I still have Spain to deal with. And I'm worried that my easy victory in Romania will make Spain and Northern Canada, the only two active players, I guess Arabia too, and Arabia. I think they might drop out if they just see this because I'm, I'm halfway to victory and I think I could hold, hold what Romania has, build up the infrastructure, build the territory up, and I could probably just win the game 
holding what I have. But I also could win better if I just take them out. And then I'm going to circle back around to my fort. Because you're not the main army group. But this is very good. I was very surprised on his reflexes. But honestly, the reflexes were bad. He moved towards his provinces that were being invaded like a zombie army piecemeal like this too ended up here you can't even reach the his, his core province in Lemberg when instead he should have regrouped everyone to a defensive line right before the front line that way you can amass a bigger group like I have bigger groups and you can counteract them better Sometimes when you win, you also lose. Now I've destroyed Romania. He's turned to an AI today. So it's just the robot doing robot things. France, who is now an AI, he turned back on as a human player a few days ago and attacked me. So I was like, ah, I don't need to expand anymore, but I have to take him out now. I'm leaving these border provinces from Spain, number two, I'm number one, open for as long as I can. I'm building forts here, here in Marcel's, Lyon, and then I'll build one in Paris. And that'll be my little buffer zone. Because I don't want to build up to here. I, I think he could just attack me. But I'm really just out of resources. I'm making less resources now than when I attacked Romania. Let's look at my morale. 68, and I'm dying. Like, that's why if you're below 70, 75, it could really hurt. Uh, I'm moving my capital from St. Petersburg to Vienna, and I'm just kind of pumping into my economy because I don't have anything fancy. Now, what do I have? So I have 764 infantry, a couple armored cars, almost 70 cavalry, and two artillery. That's nothing. I have no navy. Spain has stuff right here. It's a light cruiser. Spain's everywhere. He's just scouting me out. Uh, it'd be really bad to go into a war right now. So I'm going to be turtling for a while and just delay. I don't really need to be the one to be at the offensive here. I don't need to attack anyone in the near future. I'm hoping this Paris capital will give me a really good boost. All right. I've been on vacation for five days. I needed all those days. You didn't miss anything, I promise you. Spent all that time getting my economy back. And then what do I behold? Spain. He has so much more territory now he's very close to beating me but what happened so you see the red here i'm 604 i'm negative that means i've been struggling so hard because the game before are ukrainian swedish watch it i took so much of their territory i couldn't industrialize all of it and i was just hammering resources it took forever Sweden now has figured out how the game works, the late game. And what did he do? He, You can see it's negative. He's going down. Look, right here. No, right here. AI. He just went AI right when I got home. So he's been AFK. He attacked Arabia. And I guess he gave up. My spy in Arabia... Arabia's still playing. He comes off and on. So does England. They don't do anything. I'm. It's really sus to me. But his 22 armored cars. Bad move. That tells me you're not industrialized in property. Any territories I can see, like 37 out of 40, you just took that from another player. You didn't build that. Where's your factory? Or sorry, where's your railroads? Where's your harbors? Broken railroad, or sorry, broken harbor. Who knows what's there? Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. So now I'm like, do I 
he could show back up any time. I don't have a lot of artillery, though. Let's see how many I have. So I have five. Uh, on day, this is day 25, I have five artillery. That's how crazy my expansion has been. I have no <laughs> artillery. I have nothing else besides cavalry. I have an obscene amount of cavalry, though. Screw it. I will invade the Iberian Peninsula. If I could take his capital, I don't think robots build new capitals. And I think I could just destroy his whole economy. He has a lot of boats. His boats here. His boats here. He used to have boats up here. I don't know what he's doing with them. No, they're not up there. I don't know. Maybe he took a hiatus. Maybe he'll come back. I think, I think taking this, even though I have no way of really invading North Africa, I probably can invade North Africa if he stays as a robot because I can, I could bounce through his ships and get over there. Uh, so I may do that. But North Canada has taken all of America. So I have that to worry about. I also have England as just a minor threat. Oh, what's this? North Canada is taking Greenland. Oh. Oh, North Canada took Iceland. Wow. Okay. I didn't even realize that. That's a problem. I do like that the Nordic countries are kind of my buffer and I have scouts, so I'll see them coming. I have so many infantry, 1400 infantry. I am the Russian army. Oh my gosh. Plain as Russia. You just become Russia, I guess. But yeah, I'm, I'm moving in. I'm moving forces. I'm moving 300 units over here. I'm moving these guys back because they're injured. And the morale is just hurting so bad. Moving this large army over here too. In the morning, I might just like steamroll, hit Madrid, and let, let their like economy start collapsing because his morale... Uh, his morale is 75%, and that's the gold number. If you go under that, you might start sinking if you didn't industrialize properly. And I think that's what happened. He invaded Arabia, and then he realized he took way too much land. And that's a great example of how not that expanding needs to be a slow process in Supremacy 1914. This isn't Call of War. You just don't like roll tanks in and wake up at 3 a.m. to continue the roll on. Uh, you need time, and you need to plan properly. All right, the evasion has begun. They're moving troops here. I'm moving troops here. They're not doing well. And I'm doing all right. I cannot stress the fact that Spain did not industrialize properly he took way too much territory in Northern Africa. And the effects of empire, which you can see here, I have expansion negative 24. That's a lot. 24 is, you, you pretend you don't have anything else, that's 76%. Uh, You're barely making more than you consume. And that's what happened to Spain. That's my assumption of Spain. And I really think that that is why Spain gave up. But now Spain can't come back. Spain could show back up as a robot, back to human, and Spain can't win. Spain is destroyed. I've sacked Madrid. And let's look at what Spain's morale. It's 55% now. I think it was in the 70s before. That's a huge drop just because they lost their capital. And they are are a terminally declining empire. And the robot, you know, the robot's shooting me here. Oh no, I'm going to shoot back. I'm going to take them out. And I'm going to kill them here too. If this cruiser moves in, I have at least an artillery piece and I have so many Russian infantry that I will slowly just pepper away those ships. They're attacking here, taking them out. Not a problem. 
and I'm just taking out the Iberian Peninsula. I'm letting about two, 300 infantry, 350 infantry here heal up. And when they get maxed and I take this peninsula, I'll rush them here. And I'll, and I'll start invading Africa. We have interesting events happening. I'm invading North Africa. We have Spain ships coming in to assist. And lo and behold, Spain came back in the game. Now, how do I know that? I know that because I was bored. I clicked provinces. And Tomasa has a capital being built. Centrally located. Perfect spot for capital. Cannot blame Spain for choosing that position. I'm about to take Sicily. I have to move cautiously through the islands because I only have artillery and an obscene amount of infantry. 1,600 now. But I... I can't deal with these cruisers. I don't have the resources to build submarines. I have to keep pushing my economy. Taking the Iberian Peninsula got my score up to 789. I think it was almost 200 points, probably 150 points. I'm so close to the 1,000. So I need to break through. I'm going to have reinforcements to assist this artillery in case... The cruisers come and attack me. The Spain has, has moved defenses to here, here, and here. It's not enough. There's not a lot going on. The problem I'm having is the cruisers, but Spain's morale, again, is 56%. Spain is terminally dying. Spain is losing resources. Spain is losing the game. And also another reason why I think Spain is back because Spain has an artillery right here and shooting it. Wow, this is bad. How oh, did Spain take that too? Wow, Spain's just rushing them. The invasion into North Africa. It's going all right. There's some cruisers here. They're almost dead. I'll take them out. Then I'll start pushing through. Here, though, I'm, I got surprised. I didn't realize he had nine cruisers. I was completely caught off guard. I'm going to just do as much damage as I can, but I need to build a lot more artillery. And then over here, he has seven. Also, I didn't know that. So that is something new. I don't really know... I wasn't going to invade over here, so I'm sending in more artillery. And I'm trying to build some forts and some strategic locations. I see he's building up here and here. His capital isn't even halfway yet, which is great. He's probably still ruined. But I'll keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on his morale. So Spain is attacking Naples. <clears throat> Lost 35 infantry. His six cruisers are damaged. His nine are damaged from a previous fight. I'm sending in reinforcements, but I'm okay with losing a bunch of infantry. I still have 1,500 down here in North Africa. I'm bombarding Frez. I've taken out that cruiser from yesterday, sending troops to start taking these areas. These guys are a lot more injured than I was expecting. So instead of fighting this group, I'm going to head back. I'm going to need to start getting my morale up in these areas. And he just needs one submarine and I'm toast here. I do need to build some submarines. That would probably help me with the cruisers too. But that will be something I'll need to pivot to soon. So I have one 
against the light cruisers. I only lost infantry. I have my artillery are pretty weak now, but besides that, things went pretty well. Down here in North Africa, I'm making gains, moving in more troops. I'll need to start building submarines. And I'm just waiting for this fort level to go down a little bit more for my artillery. Now here you could see North Canada has finished off Greenland. And you could see their scouts. Which are a problem. I need to assume there will be an invasion soon. Luckily I've not seen them up here. I'm so close to winning that it would suck if... <laughs> If he lands, I don't get the final victory point, and it's over. So I'm really trying to smash Spain's capital, try to get that final win. I'll need to become more aggressive over here. The invasion of North Africa against Spain is going well. I have most of the area taken, the, the rest in the western part of North Africa will be taken by tomorrow. I'm moving in. My main force artillery has just landed and they will start bombarding the garrisons in Iran and Agadar. And overall, things are going well. There's not much resistance. I'm waiting for something to show up. But I'm just sweeping through and trying to get my points back up. I haven't been gaining that much since I take took since I take the Iberian Peninsula. But the looming threat of North Canada is upon us. North Canada has invaded England. North Canada finished off Greenland and now they're going for England. You can see here they took over Belfast. They're about to take Dublin. They're invading Liverpool, and I'm moving up troops to stop this because I can. I need to hold my ground. Uh, after he takes England, there's no one else he can fight that isn't connected to me, and I have to hold him off as I push through Spain. As the invasion of North Canada into the United Kingdom continues, I successfully sacked the United Kingdom's capital. That's getting a morale boost for me and taking it away from North Canada, which will help delay the invasion into Europe. In the south, I've mopped up the western part of North Africa against Spain, and my artillery will stomp up, start bombarding them by tonight. Also, Spain has finished off in Anatolia, the AI, but I see them moving here. Now I'm worried that they might have right of way, so I started moving forces here and building up my forts to counteract them. But I don't really know. It would be great if he just starts attacking Caucasus because that'll give me a few days to build up and then when He's done fighting. I can move in and attack him. Also shooting artillery here. He did this yesterday too, and I killed, like, I don't know, five of those cars. And then I guess he moved them right back. So now I'm coming back. Spain's capital is being sieged now. I'll attack and take it by the next day. Moving my forces through North Africa to the eastern part. Any resistance has been squashed fairly easy. Even their defenses here weren't much. But I've gotten their fort down from level five to one. It's pretty impressive with 10 artillery. Four more are showing up. But yeah, I was expecting a lot more. I have like 900 units here. If 
you count the whole Africa, I probably have 1,200. I have 2,000 infantry in total. Still pin up forces here. So glad I sacked the uh, United Kingdom's capital. Can North Canada has not declared war on me yet. But my spies did find out a communication. So from North Canada, he asked, need help with Russia. And that was yesterday. Spain followed up with LOL, yes. So they're both in there. I don't know why it took them that long to start colluding with each other. Things are looking very good for me. I'm at 928 points. I'm hoping to gain more ground. And then hopefully this capital wins me the game. Also, here, Spain's army to attack the AI caucus country failed miserably. You can see that the caucus killed everyone. It was artillery, armor, cars. Caucus has a huge army. I don't know why. Uh, but I wouldn't mess with them. But Caucus is moving in, attacking. I'm also moving in. I have artillery to support me for a landing. And I'll just need to start pushing. I need to take Spain out before this is over. Um, sp scouts. More scouts. North Canada has forces here. I could tell he's going to attack me here. I'm not really doing anything about it, but I should actually do something about it. I'm going to bring a submarine. Yeah, I think after this capital fight, I'll have to start bringing men over there. I'm building up a fort. It would definitely be a bad situation if North Canada starts taking ground from me and I can't get enough points from Spain to win. Because then I have to, you know, retake my the areas I lost and blah, blah, blah. I don't want to do that. The invasion has begun. North Canada is landing in North Africa. I'm going to attack them as they land, as they disembark. Moving in 13 seconds. I have my submarines consolidating at this point. Two cruisers right here are coming this way. My one submarine can take them out. I'm just retreating guys off, off the coastline that don't have good artillery. And up here in, in England, they're taking London after I already sacked it. Go for it. They have a lot of men, but not a crazy amount of artillery. They have five. I have three here. I have three more coming. So that's eight. And now I have three right here. And that's not bad can hold this line pretty well. I have really good forts in Lille, Paris, Lyons, and Marcel Marcellus. And I'm hoping that, you know, the war happens in Spain and western part of France, and I just come in and attack them. I do have another army here in Burgos, and they have a battleship with a cruiser, and that's not good. So I'll be, it'll be interesting to see that. I'm so close to winning. North Af or uh, Anatolia region in Turkey, I'm invading Spain there. My new robot friend is fighting them, which is great. Keep at them. And I'm just mopping up the rest of North Africa. But I have 948 points out of 1,000. I really need to win this. I've taken Spain's capital and I don't think that's registered in the game yet until day change. So, I mean, I might win in like 17 hours. North Canada has invaded successfully. I have defenses. I need more time to gather them. Submarines are gathering to take out their cruisers and they have landed in Brittany. But I'm sending in more men on my little Maginot line. This big group is unloading. And I'm assuming that's their battleship. So that'll be fun. 
But yeah, I have four and a half hours till day change. Let's see if I win or not. Well, I won. I got over 100 points from taking Spain's second capital, and it pushed me over the edge, which is great because this would have been a much longer fight dealing with North Canada. I would have beaten them too, but this is amazing. I'm glad I won. So, Squid time, Squid University. Professor Squid here, my Squid boys. What can we take from this fight? I defeated North Russia as a human player, Finland as a human player, Lithuania as a human player, Ukraine as a human player, Romania as a human player, France as a human player, Spain as a human player. That's a lot of people. And I didn't have a sophisticated army. My army was mainly infantry and cavalry. Artillery only came later on in the game. But yeah, the power of or an overwhelming force of infantry and cavalry. Cavalry were definitely a big driver. And it just shows you don't need fancy tanks to win. You know, in hindsight, I should have industrialized more when it took out Ukraine and Lithuania in the previous game before invading Romania. When it took Romania, I should have industrialized more before I took Spain. But I saw opportunities. Spain was just, he went out for a few days, turned to a robot, took the Iberian Peninsula. All right, Squid Boys, I'll see you next time. A unique and lesser known aspect of World War I the involvement of squids in the trenches. These amazing creatures disrupted the monotony of trench warfare, distracting soldiers and providing occasional amusement amidst the horrors of battle. Squid.